Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, so I haven't really played my main in quite a while and unfortunately my bank has gotten extremely cluttered for me just logging onto this account for a few minutes, buying some items for something and then logging off or just generally messing around with my bank. So today I thought I would take some inspiration from the bank tabs subreddit. I will leave a link in the description for that. The bank tabs subreddit is really just dedicated to, uh, well, organizing your bank. Sometimes they post the giant collections or just having a look at what a maxed account bank looks like. We have free-to-play banks, some of them are Iron Man banks, some of them are for visuals, some of them are more for function, and well, some of them are minimalistic. What I would like to do for my own bank right now is to try to pick something that is kind of in between functionable and visually pleasing. Obviously, I don't want to intentionally make things harder on myself, but also it would be nice to have it look nice. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the bank. We are pretty much maxed out, I believe. I don't think I can deposit these items. Oh, God. I don't know what happened here. My runes got messed up. This first page here just has a ton of junk in it. The combat tab is still okay, but we'd like to reorganize that a little bit more. The skilling tab is more visual for me. It's not the most functional, but I kind of like it like that. And all these jewelry items here we need to fix. This here is not very functional. I think I might change this up a bit. And we have a lot of extra items. Yeah, but we're maxed out in bank space. We can't deposit anything. Okay, so let's get started and start fixing some of this up. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is liquidate anything I don't need in the bank because having 800 items is just clearly not necessary uh, for my account. So first, let's go ahead and get rid of all the placeholder items. Now, the only reason I had those here is because I always have the placeholders turned on and I was doing bosses, so I kind of wanted those items to stay there. But now that I'm done, I just want to clear everything out. Like all of these items, I won't really need. If I need them in the future, I can always get them back. This tab was for when I was creating a ton of accounts. I don't even know what this is. So yeah, first we're going to go ahead and liquidate everything that we don't need, sell it off, remove placeholder, and we'll see how many bank spaces we can clear out just from doing that. One thing I don't remember if I've actually done already is talk to the wise old man and see if you can clear up my bank of any unnecessary items. Can you check my items for junk, please? Uh, oh, really? Only the rusty sword. I actually kind of want to keep that anyway, so I guess I must have already come here. Do you want to know something that's really embarrassing? I legitimately forgot I had an abyssal bludgeon. I actually lost it in my own bank. <laughs> It was so disorganized, and it kind of, I don't know, it just blends in. It didn't really look like any notable item, but uh, yeah, I actually have an Abyssal Bludgeon. I think I'm going to sell that off for now. I'm really trying to clear as much stuff as possible. The way I had my bank set up before was kind of as if I was an Iron Man, just to make it visually pleasing, but I'd rather get rid of too many items than just have to buy a few of them back later then just have a hugely cluttered bank. I might clear this down to like 400. I'm gonna get rid of things that are useful but I'm just not using at the current moment. And as I actually move between different pieces of content, I'll buy the necessary items instead of just holding on to them for no reason. So how much is the Abyssal Bludgeon worth right now? I'm gonna sell it off for now. Still worth 30 mil, quite nice. Clear that out and yeah, we found an extra 38 mil so far. Okay, so we have gotten our bank down to under 500, which is so much better. There still may be a few things I want to get rid of. I'm considering just ditching a lot of these quest items because there are ways to get them back if they are necessary in the future and they are just currently cluttering up more bank space. For example, some of these items, but most of the ones that are actually useful I still have, like the Gris Gris, Ghostly Robe set. Am I ever actually going to use that? Maybe when it gets reworked. But for the most part, I've gotten rid of all of the complete junk items. Okay, never mind. So now we'll start with the organization. We're going to start with this very first tab here, move down, and we're definitely going to take some inspiration from some of the tabs on bank tabs. And let's get started. God damn it, that took a long time. I made a video similar to this like a year ago, and I remember waking up and saying, well, at least this video won't take very long. It'll just take me an hour or two. But God, okay, this took a long time to organize, probably like four or five hours. I know it doesn't look like that much, but 
Uh, I don't know, it took me a long time. It was super disorganized. Anyway, let's see what I ended up coming up with. So we've divided our bank into seven different tabs. I'm saving one or two just for a loot tab down the line a little bit. I would like to start playing my main a little bit more and I think organizing the bank will help incentivize me to do so. Okay, so let's start off here. The main page, I wanted to not be longer than the default size. So for example, it just goes down to the very bottom here. At the left side, we have the section for runes. I'm missing a few here and I'll probably switch out the dust runes for something else once I get it. At the top left, I have my cache, uh, house teleports, and my rune pouch. To the right, we have uh, some of the more common teleports. We have a slayer ring, a dig site pendant, a games necklace, and the ring of dueling. Okay, in the center here, we have the graceful set, along with about eight different items to do a farm run. Currently, we're going to be farming renards. We have the ultra compost, the magic secateurs, explorer's ring, active files, stuff like that. This little quadrant here is just for birdhouse runs if I decide to start doing them again. I think they're still worth it even though we get drastically less money. And here we just have a shark and monkfish just to be able to withdraw that quickly. I've also assigned a tab at the side which you can do in rune light and I think as well as the default client it just won't display at the side. Uh, so by clicking on the farming tab it'll just show me all of my farming items. I might add a few more things in there later. I've also added one in for melee. Uh, it even puts the potions down here which is nice as well as ranged and magic gear. I do want to add on some more tabs later. So that's it for the main tab. Next up is the gear tab. I've decided to keep my slayer things in the top left. I just realized I have two cannons for some reason. Oh well. Here we have uh, melee gear and then ranged gear and then magic gear. At the bottom here we have our ammunition. We need to get more of that but I decided that I'm not going to buy items just for the sake of having them in the bank right now because the whole point of this was to try to reduce my bank space. And speaking of that, we've reduced it down to 432. For a main account that's not an Iron Man, I really did not need too much more stuff. So 400 is pretty reasonable for me. Below we have some other gear like our prayer gear, some really cheap alternatives in case we go into the wilderness. And that's pretty much it for the combat gear. I heavily considered putting a few potions with combat. I decided to put the potions in with the tags feature at the side and keep them in their own tab. Pretty simple for potions, we have all the major ones at the top, we have super strength, attack, defense, super combats, ranging potions, super restores, staminas, uh, super energies, and then the 3, 2, and 1 dose. You kind of have to do this unless you're really on top of it, or else you'll just get random dosages of potions scattered throughout your bank. At the bottom here we have some lesser used potions for myself, we have energy potions, super anti-poisons, prayer potions, overloads, anti-fires, serotonin brews anti-venoms. Obviously we still use them, just they won't be as common. Now one of the tabs I didn't end up changing too much was my skilling tab. And the reason for that is a lot of these items you get is dropped from monsters, so having placeholders set for them is kind of nice. And I do kind of like just the general design of it. At the top left we have uh, the dragon pickaxe and the dragon axe. We have the four basic gem types along with the four different amulets. The reason for that is I was actually using this as a money making method. I don't really use these amulets ever, but I was stockpiling thousands of them to sell back to a store. We have eight different log types here, along with the four different types of planks. We have most of the ores, along with most of their completed bars. We have some raw food, in case we want to train our cooking. We have some ingredients for making wines, and then some other random skilling items. One tab that I don't really have much in yet is my teleportation tab. I would like to start doing medium clue scrolls, and at that point I want to go ahead and buy a bunch of the different teleports, but... Again, like I said, I'm not going to buy items just for the sake of having them in the bank until I actually need it, and I'll go ahead and add those in later. So for the herb tab, I got rid of a lot of different items. I only really kept the herbs going from Renar and upwards. I kind of had a cutesy little Ironman setup where I'd have one of each unfinished potion, one of each cleaned herb, one of each uh, uncleaned herb, the secondary ingredients, and the unfinished potion. But uh, it's just really not necessary for a main account. If I need those items, I'll just go buy them. I don't need to collect every seed I find in the ground and every herb and whatnot. So once I decide to go train farming or herb lore, I'll just buy those items and throw them in here as I see fit. Next up here, we have useful items and clue scrolls, totem pieces, stuff like that. Most of these items aren't quest items, except for this, but that actually has a pretty solid use. So I'm putting stuff like the goldsmith gauntlets in here, a holy wrench the Bone Crusher, the Ring of Karos. We have four different tiers of clue scrolls that we happen to have. We have my Blue Feather Collection. Uh, <laughs> how much is that worth right now? Uh, 55 mil, my god. Not that they could ever sell that or want to. We have the different fossils from Fossil Island. We have a bunch of different types of defenders in case I happen to lose mine. Uh, we have the Midnight Pet, Prospector's Outfit, 
and really anything that has uses but I just don't use it that frequently I've kind of thrown in here. And the final tab is quest items. I went through it pretty thoroughly and I think there's a few more things I could remove but just in case I'm keeping them and I do have a lot of bank space right now so it's not that huge of a deal. And I have room for I think two more tabs which I am going to use I think for maybe a Barrows tab when I start doing more Barrows maybe Zara or other PVM. And since I've cleared out most of the random gear drops that they have and most of the random resource drops, uh, they'll actually be able to funnel into that tab. That is pretty much it, guys. I think I somehow increased my bank value by like five mil by selling everything off, if that's possible. We went from a maxed 816 bank down to 422, so we almost cut it in half. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the design. Again, go check out bank tabs if you're looking for some inspiration. The community has been growing quite a bit since the last time I made a video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.